eat it. I had breakfast, I'm sorry. Hi, my name is Eldon Barrett. We're here on the world's famous Henry's Fork. We're currently in the middle of the salmon fly hatch, more commonly known as the Terranarceus. It's a great time of the year. The hatch provides opportunity for the fish for a big meal. The, the first thing they're going to see is the nymphs. This is an imitation of the nymph, the rubber legs. And when it hatches, this is what the adult, this is the imitation for the adult. It's a great time of the year for opportunity to catch a big fish on a dry fly. It's become very popular the last few years. A lot more people fishing, but it's still, still a pretty fun time on the river. So this pattern has evolved over the years for me. It's just continual improvement, trying to make it a little bit better. The black on the back of it this is the female imitation once they the eggs are fertilized they'll fly back to the river and deposit the eggs and they usually will land on the water and they're such a bulky heavy fly they struggle to get airborne again so they lay there and they flutter their wings so that's why this this wing is tied to imitate that if you hold that up next to a natural, then the wing looks more of a gray color. But when they flutter, especially with a little bit of sunlight on them, they almost look the same color as this wing here. So that's why I tie that. So this here is one of the big flies that's just barely hatched. His wings is not even dry yet. This one's a fairly dark one. This will be a female, the size of it. But once, usually, usually they're a little more orange colored than that. And what I'll do when they're like that is I'll take a brown sharpie and darken that body a little bit, just on the sides. But that's that's kind of the underneath. That's one thing. Always imagine the view of the fish, what the fish is looking at. The fish is looking from a dark atmosphere out into a light atmosphere, and then the silhouette of the flies. Well, this fly, I don't know if you can tell or not, but they, they actually have four wings. They're, they're very primitive. They've not evolved very, very little over the years. They've actually found these encased in amber that they carbon dated to 80 million years old. So this is a very prehistoric bug. It provides a huge meal for a fish. So Typically, a hatch on the Henry's Fork comes off in May. A lot of it, determined, it is determined by the time of year, but once the temperature reaches about 54 degrees is when those nymphs will crawl to the bank and start shedding that skin where they hatch into the adults. I've seen it as early as the 10th of May and the latest the 30th of May. We're here today on the 31st of May. There's still nymphs crawling out. We've had some cold weather here lately, so it's kind of delayed the hatch and prolonged it. So once, once it starts to warm up, it, it'll accelerate again. The females, once they leave the, once it starts to warm up in the mornings, usually around 10 o'clock or so, they get a little more agile, so that's when they start flying to the river and laying the eggs. And that'll last pretty much clear into the late afternoon. So a lot of the times you're best to wait and start fishing late morning, maybe even as much late as midday. Some of the other rivers in the area that I fish this fly is the South Fork of the Snake River. And it's a little bit larger river than the Henry's Fork. So the hatch comes off a little bit later. It's typically around the 25th of June when it starts. 
and it will last into the middle of July. The Madison River is about the same time as the South Fork. It's usually sometime in the latter part of June and it, it lasts into July. The, as I said before, the water temperature is what determines the hatch. And so typically the hatch will start at the lower reaches of the river and then move upstream as the water moves, warms up. A good way to where we used to be able to identify where the hatch was at was watch for the seagulls. The seagulls will move in and feed on them and wherever the seagulls are at you know you're in the middle of the hatch. 